how to make money from music. What's up guys, today I'm finally answering some of your most asked questions, such as how do I get noticed in the music industry, how to make money from the music industry, and random questions such as what's up with this freaky keyboard and to my upcoming plugin. Be sure to watch till the end for some super secret question answers. As always, one of the first five in the commenters who are not by me, but I'll shut up now, let's dive into it with the first question. First question is quite simple, how to grow as an artist? Well, I think the most important part is to continue growing and learning and to setting the competition with only yourself. It's super unhealthy to look at what others are doing and how they're developing. Your pathway is yours and yours alone. And you need to respect that. Another tip is don't set boundaries for yourself. If you want to make something weird, if you want to make another genre, just do it, test it out, and you will learn a lot in the process. But the most important part to actually grow as an artist is to dedicate time. Scheduling your time is going to help a lot in being able to dedicate yourself to your craft and learn a lot quicker, which is something that I found out early on. If I wasn't careful with my time, it was easy to just get distracted and start doing other things. Next one is, did you learn everything yourself or did you enroll in a music production school? I learned everything myself, but there are a lot of really good music schools out there, but with YouTube and everything that's online right nowadays, I would not recommend doing it unless it's for a specific context and you can actually afford it. If you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what song would it be? That would be Elton John's Yellow Brick Road. It's just the chord progression just makes me happy every time I hear it and it just surprises me every time. I love it. What do you do for your health, especially for ears? Now, I didn't used to do this, but now I try to sleep at least seven hours. I read this book called Why We Sleep sleep, which I do recommend, and I understood the importance of sleep, and I eat as healthy as I can, plant-based, and I produce at very low volumes. It's better for your mixing and it's better for your hearing, so really try to get used to it. Oh, and also very important for your brain is to stimulate your body, so working out is gonna help your brain. It's proven that it's like 20% more efficient if it has worked out recently, so it's it's real, it's science. Can you do plugin? Yes, I'm actually releasing my own plugin that we've been working on for so long, and I'm so super excited. It's going to be called Biggie Fire and it's so much work and so many different things put into one plugin and I'm really really proud of it. I can't wait to show it to you. Goals for 2021. Doing more of the things that make me happy I think. Just focusing more on music and making what I want. Did you recover well from surgery? Yes, I'm pretty much all good now. I had septoplasty if you want to know what it is. It's sort of like a bone cartilage thing that blocked my sinuses so I got a lot of infections and stuff and speaking of which I'm also wearing my Invisalign because of some crooked teeth bite stuff that I had issues with if you're wondering if I have something in my teeth when are you going to start your own label hopefully next year but it depends on pretty much how well things go because I really want to be in a position where I can actually make a big difference to someone's career and I don't think I'm there yet how old are you? I'm 74 years old. Best and worst thing that happened in 2020? Well, obviously the worst thing was the pandemic, which is ruining so many lives. But the best thing has probably been like sort of the unity that the world has shown over certain issues, such as over the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement, which has been really beautiful to watch and be a part of. Can we get some Jonas Aiden merch? Yes, I actually had a lot coming and it was gonna be released in November, but it's stuck in customs in Portugal. So hopefully it's coming early January, I hope how to make money from music. I'm gonna try and give a different approach to this question because it's been asked a lot. And I think most answers are sort of hitting at it the wrong way because there is a lot of money in music. You just need the knowledge of the music business to actually be able to extract it for yourself. So my number one tip would actually be to dive deep into the music business and try to understand it. For instance, all you need to know about the music industry by Donald S. Passman, I think he's called. That book is excellent and pretty much all you need, actually. Being able to differentiate between a distribution deal, which is gonna give you 80% of the income, versus a 360 artist deal, which a lot of people are trapped in, where you end up with less even than 20% of the royalties, you give away, let's say 10% if you're live, merchandise and everything. It can really mess up your fina financials with the wrong deals. And I think that's the best way to earn money in the music industry, realizing what deals are actually beneficial for you and building up the knowledge. So having the right deal and understanding the deals can be so essential. For instance, let's say you have an artist deal, it's obviously gonna give you much more than a distribution deal, but if you treat it right, and you can also start building up your own in-house team, which can help you out with certain tasks and the difference between
between such a distribution deal and a regular record deal could mean the difference between, let's say, 300 instead of 3000 euros for a million streams on Spotify. A lot of these deals really chip away at your money if they're not done correctly and you really should have a lawyer. That's my biggest advice. Make money in the music industry is to have a really good lawyer that you respect and understand. Now for some more practical tips. I think the most important part is understanding that if you create value where there is demand, you will generate be able to generate revenue. That means you can do everything from selling samples, providing value through other ways like informative videos, entertaining videos on let's say building up a TikTok profile. There are so many avenues that you can generate income where you can do brand deals, sponsors and build up a fan base that will listen to your music as well because they're going to be interesting in what you have to say. So I hope that helps in some regard and let me know if you want me to dig deeper into the subject. When is the new song coming? At Mike Williams. It's coming very early next year. Best way in your opinion to get heard by people as an artist? Back to my point about creating value, people will usually only tend to care if there is something in it for them. So that means if you for instance remix their favorite song, they're going to start taking notice of you or if you make funny related music content or educational videos just something that will pique their interest i think is what's key to get a career off the ground it can also be just having exceptional exceptional music but i feel like a lot of artists will have to grow a lot before they can be that exceptional they still need to build their fan base so that's my advice what was the aftermath of the hot sauce video it was actually not much we were pretty much fine within a couple of hours that was a bit weird. How to get inspiration and what to do when you're feeling down. I think it's important to realize that inspiration will come and go and it happens to everyone, no matter who you are. Now, the best way to get over it, in my opinion, is to just keep doing new stuff. It can be even like just freestyling some melodies into your phone, pitching it up, reversing it and listening through it. And maybe you plug out something, try out a new instrument, pick up a guitar, just test everything try out new samples, just do something new, challenge yourself in some regard. I think a lot of people say that you should take breaks. And while I think that's true, I think for 90%, for me at least, 90% of the time that works, just testing out something new. If I take a break and I leave from the studio feeling like I didn't manage to do something, I will be less inclined to get back into it and I'll be demotivated. I know like you should be able to remember that no, it happens to everyone, but Oftentimes I find it's difficult to just get your mind straight and just testing out stuff till you get somewhere. I think that's a key to be able to overcome a lack of inspiration. How can I make my plucks more impressive and hit harder in the mix? I think it's a combination of a lot of things like distortion, saturation, stereo widening, delays and stuff, which are all included in my plugin that's coming. And I think you guys are going to love it. It's going to help that question a lot, I think. What did you find was the hardest part about growing in the music business and how did you get past it? To be honest with you, it's learning to love to fail. Uh, it sounds a bit cliche, but being able to always jump into it, trying to learn new things and not being able to fail because you will fail so much, but that will always keep you back and you will be afraid of working on stuff and that will just put you back even, even further. You'll be even more insecure and just a super bad loop for you to be in. So know that failure happens, it's inevitable and that's where you learn. Have you managed to maintain a good mental health through this year? It's a complicated matter and I don't want to really skimp on it but to give you a concise answer yes i have because it's easy to see all the doors that have been closed during this pandemic and all the opportunities that are gone and everything that's bad but i think we humans tend to overlook all the doors that are maybe hard to quantify that are opening so i've felt for instance that having more time in the studio forced uh, has been honestly switched my life around and I feel it's gained me in so many ways and I think that is true for a lot of things that it's hard to always see the upsides when there are so many downsides. So it sounds cheesy but focusing on the actual upsides and being grateful for them has been key for me at least and I hope you guys are doing well as well. Did you pay your studio with money from your music? Yes I did. Uh, I've actually never had any other income other than music. I, I should probably be scared of that. How do you manage your time so well? Well I plan every day from I wake up till I go to bed. I plan every week, month and pretty much year and I also have goals for all those time periods or else I would not be able to do anything effectively I think. Top things that change you from being a good producer to a pro producer. This is a very interesting question because I've always 
wonder this when I was starting to learn music production. I always wondered what, what was it that took it from good to pro? And the truth is there is pretty much no difference. Like there are so many pro producers that are so much worse producers than random good producers with no contacts following or whatever and vice versa. So it's not really about the talent and the musicality and the productions that take you from good to pro. It's more of being able to build up a network, a contact and being able to maneuver through the music business properly. I think that's what you learn the most from and that's what's going to take you to the pro level, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. What's the average time you spend on a project? I'd say probably somewhere between 100 and 200 hours per song. If you didn't become a music producer or a comedian, what would you choose? Well, I, as a kid, I always wanted to be a scientist, like genetic scientist or nano scientist. That's always what I wanted to be. How tall are you? I'm six foot one, 186 centimeters. What were you doing in the two years when you disappeared from music? I actually finally want to tell you that story over the next few videos. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to do it yet, but I want to finally feel like I want to share that story with you guys. Why do you use that weird looking keyboard and mouse? So I've had a lot of wrist pain over the last couple of years due to producing 16 hours a day for 10 years. And I've just been looking for all the most ergonomic devices that put the least amount of strain on my wrists. That's that's the sad truth. I, I, I'm in pain and it, it looks funky. At what time during the day do you feel most productive? I feel the most productive when people aren't awake. So early, early morning or late, late night. If you could restart your music career, what would you do different? I would learn music theory from top to bottom. I would learn all the instruments that I could find and focus more on that instead of learning to mix and master perfectly because that's not what it's about, in my opinion. Your views on ghost production. I think it's only a problem when the artist specifically and intentionally lies to their fan base about it. Other than that, I see it as a fair value exchange and I see nothing wrong with it. It helps both parties. What was the biggest crowd that you played for? I think it was 10,000 in Spain and around 9,000 in Poland, I think. Two best days of my life. Are you gonna make a song where you sing? We need that. Yes, in a few years, I'll be a pop star, I promise. I think that was it for now. If you wanna ask me more questions, go to my Instagram and you can post all of your questions there and ask me in my DMs. I hope there was something of value here and that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon, bye.